Over the past four years, I've read almost 100 trading books. I've spent countless hours poring over pages of technical analysis, market psychology, and trading systems. But after all that time, I realized that 99% of the books I read were pretty much useless. They were either too theoretical, too anecdotal, or sometimes just plain wrong in my experience. Especially for when you're trying to become a systematic trader. Now, if you're serious about becoming a systematic trader, then these are the five must-read books for you. I'm Unbiased Trading, and let's get into it. New Trading Systems and Methods by Perry J. Coffin. This book is a classic for a reason. It is the definite guide to trading systems. This book has been updated recently for kind of today's markets and includes expanded coverage of trends, momentum, arbitrage, and integration of fundamental statistics, and even some risk management. The book explains the tools and techniques of successful trading and how to develop a program that meets your own unique needs. It also walks you through the basic mathematics and statistical concepts of trading systems design and mythology. If you're serious about trading, then trading systems and methods is an essential reference for you. The examples alone are extremely worth it. One of my favorite parts of the book is about regression analysis, which is a great intro and description of it for anyone new to those ideas. Next is David Arson's book. Evidence-based technical analysis is a bit technical, but it's worth the read. Arson is a veteran in the trading world. He started getting interested in technical analysis in the 1950s, and he's written technical memos for Merrill Lynch and advised Tudor Investment Corporation. He's got a lot of experience in writing trading systems and even applying AI to trading. The book is divided into two parts. The first part is all about how to apply this scientific method to testing your trading strategies. He then explains how you can use statistical tests to determine the significance of your trading signals. He calls this evidence-based technical analysis, or EBTA for short. The first seven chapters are all about statistics and how to use it in trading, and then Arson does a great job of explaining these technical concepts in a very simple way. He also explains how to derive sampling distributions on back-tested results using the Bootstrap and Monte Carlo simulations. He argues that these two methods are the most important tests you can perform on your sample to identify the degree of randomness. Overall, I thought this was a great book. It maybe isn't an easy read, but it is definitely worth it if you're serious about trading. He does a great job of explaining scientific methods and how to apply it to technical analysis. If you're looking for a more rigorous approach to trading, then this is the book for you. Now, this is the book that you should really consider if you want to dive deep into quantitative trading or even systematic trading. I must say from my experience, it is a bit more of a beginner's book, but there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, if this was my first book I ever read to get into quantitative or systematic trading, I would have really appreciated it. So definitely give this one a look if you're a bit newer to the field, or even if you're more experienced. It's a really good way of confirming and ensuring that your thought processes are correct. Ernest Chan is just an absolute genius, and when it comes to tr quantitative trading, I highly recommend watching anything he puts out, because most of the time I always find value in it. Volatility Trading. Now, the author of this book is actually a physicist, who is a trader by vocation and avocation. He really knows his stuff when it comes to volatility. His analysis is beautifully done and described. There is some serious maths involved here, but most of it comes from a practical trader's perspective. So even if you're not a maths whiz, you can still understand the key points. The author does a great job of summarizing the maths in words and with trading examples. I also really appreciate the last Ch uh, last part of the book, where he summarized books and articles and websites that the author has found useful. I wish more authors did this uh, for trading text, as this was a very valuable feature. If you're trading volatility or wishing to learn more about volatility, I highly recommend this book. It's a must read for anyone who wants to understand this important market force. However, I will mention it mainly goes through options, uh, examples, which is not always for everyone, uh, but it's still an interesting read nevertheless. This is one of my absolute favorite books. I've actually already done a video where I review this entire book and discuss some of my favorite parts. But to sum it up, this book may not be something you'll directly use unless you're into futures trading. However, I still recommend giving it a try because it offers some really interesting strategies. What I love most about this book is the author provides backtesting examples and walks you through the process of understanding these strategies. He explains how they determine an, uh, appropriate risk tolerances for each strategy and thoroughly explains the thinking behind a systematic trader. For me, this book is a must read because it really teaches you the core process, which is really half the battle when it comes to understanding systematic trading. It's not just about knowing how the author backtested a specific strategy, but also understanding the various steps involved. This allows you to customize and apply the concepts to other strategies as well. So I highly recommend reading Trade Like a Hedge Fund. It's a great read. 
that will provide valuable insight for you. Now, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please like and share it with anyone else who might be interested. And let me know in the comments if you've got any of these books or if you have any other recommendations.